Hello everyone, welcome. We are here for round six. Once this is over, we are midway through the season. It's tier one, season three. It is Monza. Sp another sprint round we have tonight. We have 16 drivers, hopefully. We'll have 16 by the end of the race too. Uh, we'll soon find out that Monza should be a very quick race. Uh, another reason why we have chosen that uh, as our um, as our sp another sprint track. It's raining in qualifying yet again, which is very interesting because last time we seen a rain qualifying was yesterday, and that definitely. Oh, we didn't actually know it was a dry quality. It was a rainy race. Now. We'll see, conditions can change towards quality, and I'd like to know, someone could pop in the chat there, what the conditions will be for sprint, um, race, and quality. Hopefully, it should be a very interesting race. As we wait for the lads to pick... Their tire allocations. And we are away. So we'll get our telemetry, our lap data, and our full track map up as we're about to get going here. It is intermediate weather, so it's not going to be full wet like yesterday, but obviously. Still going to be a very, um, very tricky conditions here to maneuver Monza in the wet. I've done a wet quality before in Monza. It is not easy. We'll introduce you to our driver standing. So, after last week, Randro has made a huge step forward in possibly putting off Psych and getting closer to the constructors or the drivers championship. He's still thirty three points behind, but a lot closer than last time. And it looks like Psych is first car out of the garage with his setup on. As we wait for him now to head around the track. So Psych, ninety nine points. Um in the McLaren. Randro behind with sixty six. Tyro only fifteen points behind Randro, so if Randro doesn't score today or scores outside of the top five and Tyro wins the race. Um, Tyro will re-overtake. Turkey Boy with a phenomenal last few races with P4 in Imola, P5 in Baku, and then P3, obviously his first podium uh, in Belgium due to penalties. Um, he will he is P4 in the championship with 37 points. Rando with so much bad luck and has ended up uh, with himself in P6 with only one points finished, that one points finish was the win in Australia. SGR, again the same, only one points finish uh, in Azerbaijan, uh, that was a second place finish. Pat Kenny behind in P8, he's not racing tonight with 14. Lucas Paul with one points finish in Baku with 12. And Apatis Hund with his first race in Belgium finishes P4. And he rounds out the top 10 as we watch Psych go around Parabolica and start his first flying lap. One of the longest straights as a straight, the easiest overtaking opportunity in this track. A long, long run down to turn one as he drops it down to second gear to maneuver the corner, gets a little bit on the power, but immediately drops it coming through the second turn and now heads around the fast flowing eight gear of Curva Grande, turn three. Everything has been so smooth so far for Psyche, a championship leader as he heads into Della Roggia. Obviously the fastest sector one because of that. As he maneuvers that brilliantly, but he's lost it a bit and he has not gonna be able to get a great time on the board. He will continue anyway, although it looks like he has obviously turned off the, ER, the ERS system uh, and he will finish his lap anyway as he goes off this time. He seems to be struggling in these conditions. Maybe it might not be another race win as it was recently for 
Psych. He slides off of the exit of the, the Della Roggia chicane. And then as it wrapped in Valdez's lap. Close behind him is his friend of Tyro. He is on a lap. And he's still burning the ERS, which makes me think that he hasn't messed it up. On the run down into Parabolica now. Should drop it into fourth gear for this before getting back on the power. Very early, very, very early. The rear end squabbles a bit, but Tyro will get to the line and will set a 126.0 behind them. SJR in the Alpha Romeo. What time can he set? It won't be quicker. Then it's Griffin, I think, afterwards who goes quicker than that. After that, Lucas Paul to the line he goes. P2, 127.3. The Aston Martins then to the line. I think that's Fancarozo. Jackie Gabbana goes P2 with Fancarozo going P5. Behind them, the Alpha Tari or the Ferrari of a Patish Hunt. The home crowd, he's only starting his lap. And I think that's it's Jake May to the line as we wait as an Alfa Romeo is starting his flying lap. And Randro, 17, to the line he goes. Only P5 for him. Queasy B gets to the line very slowly indeed as Rando starts his flying lap at it. So Syke is the next one on a flying lap and he's gone straight into one after his first one didn't go to plan. He's had a purple through sector two which makes me think track conditions are getting slightly better or that tyres are just warming up a bit better for Syke this lap as he heads down towards Parabolica now, the championship leader. What time can he set? This will be his first official lap time. Drops it down on the power early. Doesn't upshift as quick as Tyro. Goes a bit wide. Keeps it validated. Psych to the line he goes. It's P6 just behind Randro. Behind them. Turkey boy to the line he goes. As Tyro's gone off in the background. He's retired. The pole sitter's gone off. And has retired from this race. As we wait for a Patish Hund. To come around the final corner, he's the next car to set a lap. Tyro went off a Parabolica just like Charles Leclerc did in the 2020 race. A Patish Hun with a great lap puts himself P5. Behind that, next, Darkness Alorex to set his first time. What time can the Alpha Tauri driver set? It's going to be P7 for him. And finally, then, as I think someone else improved, I think that was Fancarozo, who's gone P4. So someone else improved, don't think it was, maybe it was, uh, it was Rando, Rando, Rando improved and he's gone P2, he's going to have to take some beating though to get back up at Tyro, Rando was taken, goes P6 with a very decent lap indeed. It's like, looks like he still has plenty of fuel and it looks like he is recharging the battery and we'll soon find out whether he's going for another flying lap here towards the end of qualifying. The rain seems to be easing off a bit and as I look, the track seems to be drying and maybe time for dry soon but Psyche is going again with the ZRS deployed for another lap on these tyres. He's done three laps so far on them as Harrison has stuck on the softs and maybe going out soon enough himself. Darkness Alorx is on a lap. He is seven tenths up. This could be a fantastic lap. It's the fastest in sector two and it's getting a lovely slipstream down the straight. I think that's off Queasy B. As Darkness Alorex comes round. Ooh, a little bit of oversteer coming out of Parabolica. It's going to be a good lap from Darkness Alorex. To the line he goes. It's P2 and it's so close to provisional pole, but it just isn't going to be, is it? As I look, is there anyone else improving? It's Jake May. Had improved and gone 1.1 seconds quicker. Psyche is on a lap and he is slightly improving. He's not seeming to be enjoying out there though. He's gone fastest in sector two. Now, what kind of lap can Psyche pick up here? Didn't seem to gain much time in sector one. Gained a lot in sector two. And we'll see how much he can get out of Parabolica this time. He had to drop it to third. I don't think it's going to be a great lap at all from Psyche. But he definitely lost time on the exit last time. Will he gain time this time? He does improve and goes P8. And then has disconnected from the session. 
So we want to get back in, hit him back in as quick as possible. It's Jackie Cabana. He's on a lap at the moment. He comes to the line now. The Aston Martin driver, no, he hadn't improved. SJR. Same. Not really improving. Queasy B next to come to the line, or Griffin I should say, is on a lap. We'll see what time he can set. It's going to be a slight improvement. Queasy B to the line he goes. It's going to be P7 for the Alpine Reserve. A decent lap, very decent lap as Fancarozo goes pole position. We've missed that. The Aston Martin definitely got some lap together and has beaten pole by just under a tenth. As Tyro also leave position, I'm going to try and get Syke back into the lobby. And the same could be said for Tyro. Tyro's completely gone offline. Conditions are improving and there's two runners out on the softs, Turkey Boy and Harrison have both thrown on the softs in the pit lane and we'll see if they're going to come out very soon as I look at the track it definitely looks drivers definitely seem to be liking it out there as we look as there's an Aston Martin coming to the line it's going to be Jackie Gabbana uh, try P5 behind them SJR comes to the line improves and goes P5 behind them is the Alpine of Griffin. Griffin to the line. Provisional pole for the Alpine driver. It's been such a good qualifying session so far for Alpine, the reserve of Queasy B. Obviously podium last night and has got a very decent lap indeed. Harrison's decided to go out on the intermediates as it's not seeming to be getting any better for them. As lads are trying to get back into the lobby, I'm just going to try and get them back in. So I can yeah. And Tyro has as well. All right, hopefully that problem is solved and they can get back in and set a flying lap. Jackie Gabbana, no, we can't. Syke may not be able to improve in qualifying here. This could be crucial. As SJR goes fastest. Trying to get these guys back into the session and I'm missing a crucial qualifying ski fan is on a lap. He must have spun because his lap does go quicker though, so I think that's just a little visual glitch. Lucas paused down in his time, so he'll be into the pit lane on those softs. There is a Patachund out on the softs. He seems to be enjoying things out on that. The grip seems to be there. It says his lap is four minutes. I don't think it is. I think that's including his out lap. A patish hunt to the line. Does improve, but not by much.
the tiles in the lobby. Um, we'll uh, leave that to them in the, at the moment. Jackie Gabbana is on a lap. No, he's not. He's invalidated that. Um, I think that's XD Harrison is on an in lap. So he's going to have to improve if he wants to do better than that. Oh no, Axie Harrison spun it and he's out! He's crashed on the exit of Ascari and P4 at best for the Alpha, for the pass driver here. Very disappointing indeed. Queasy B is 1.5 seconds up and is currently the fastest car on track. That track is definitely dry now. There's going to be cars out on it for the end. Queasy B, what time can the Alpine set? He goes round the final corner. That track is rock dry. We could see now. Squeezy B to the line. It's got to be provisional pole for the Alpine so far. There's a Red Bull. I think that's coming to the pit lane. Ski fan. He's going to have to get back out quick. Next, a Patish Hund to the line. Coming around Parabolica. He's 1.1 seconds up. This is going to be Miles provisional pole for the Ferrari. Oh no, he must have made a mistake because he's into the pit lane. He's into the pit lane. And that is very interesting indeed. It looked like he was so far up. And it looked like he was going to set the fastest time. Darkness of Lorex. He's on a hot lap too. Don't mind the timer in the top right. Because his lap is probably going to be very quick. Darkness of Lorex. No, it wasn't. As we watch Jackie Gabbana come to the end of his lap. Jackie Gabbana goes quickest. The man who won in tier 2 last night goes quickest of all here today by 1.3 seconds as well at the moment as Queasy B, who set on provisional pole at one point, has dropped to P2. As now we wait for its Jake mate on his flying lap at the moment. If for some reason it says he has a 6 minute time, I doubt that's going to be a time, although he's gone very wide there, has kept it valid, and it's Jake mate. Does go quicker, but not quick enough. As Lucas Paul on an outlap. SJR on an outlap. I think that's Darkness Lorex on a hot lap. Yes, Darkness Lorex on a hot lap. Um, as Syke still trying to join. And what can he say? is next to cross the line and he goes P10 the Alpine of Griffin crosses the line now it's Jake me uh, his final flying lap and Turkey Boy is on a flying lap. What time can Turkey Boy set? Not the best time. Randro. What time? No, he's on an out lap. And he's starting his final flying lap now. Randro was taken. Is not. He's gone quicker, but not quick enough. He's going to have to go even quicker. Lucas Paul, he's definitely on a lap now. What time can Lucas Paul set? He's got provisional pole! Next, a Patish Hund. Hasn't improved. Behind him, Ski Fan. Does. SJR goes quicker. Which means that Lucas Paul, SJR is currently going to be the pole sitter. We wait now for, I think that's Frank Arozo coming to the line now. The Aston Martin. He is three seconds up on his time. What time can the Aston Martin set? It's going to be P2 for now. As It's Jake, mate. No, who's that? It's an Alpine. It's Griffin. Griffin comes around the final corner. He's had trouble. So he has not improved. And P10 will be his best lap. Jackie Gabbana next across the line. He's gone very wide, so he won't be either. As he waits for, I think that's his Jake, mate, to come around the final corner. It's Jake, mate. Goes P5, a very decent lap indeed. Next up, 
was Turkey Boy, hadn't improved. Randro 17, four seconds up in his time. How much can he improve to the final quarters? Can he get provisional pole? Randro 17, it's pole position for the Uruguayan. Rando goes P4 right behind him, but there's one person that can possibly stop him, and that possibly is maybe Ski Fan. He's three seconds up. A Patish Hund is on a lap two. Both of them are coming around the final corners now. A Patish Hund goes P7. Ski Fan goes P2. What an end to qualifying. That was. As we'll have to get a picture because we're going to have to make a new lobby for the lads that missed out. So, Randro 17 is on pole for the sprint. Ski fan in P2. SJR P3. Fancaroso P4. Rando P5. Lucas Paul 6. Darkness Alorix 7. Apache Hunt 8. It's Jake Bate 9th. Jackie Gabbana 10th. Queasy B 11th with XD Harrison 12th. Griffin 13th. Tyro and Psyche 14 and 15. And Turkey Boy couldn't improve either. What a qualifying that was. And Randro 17 chasing the leader. It's going to be really helpful considering the leader will be starting in 15th position. As we wait now what a qualifying that was and although Psyche and Tyro maybe well Tyro was gonna start 14th anyway because he had DNF but although Psyche have less the lobby and yeah that made huge for him but like we can't redo qualifying we're doing his best here to get him into the race for the championships perspective as we will restart now making sure that corner cutting is how strict it is we will get Italy and we will let Griffin join
Okay, we've got 14 so far, we need two more to join. So let's just quickly adjust the weekend to sprint and race with qualifying off and a custom grid. If we're going to go weather time and day, it's going to be clear dry, start time is realistic and forecast is perfect. Harrison, just going to give him a quick invite to the game and we will get the grid ready. Okay. So Randro will start on Paul, ski fan on his, essentially it's his tier one debut because it was only a reserve last time out with a fantastic Paul, Fancarozo, gonna go uh, Rando, we'll go P5, Lucas Paul goes P6, P7 was Darkness Alorex, oh swap those. Apatishund, P8, P9 was its Jake mate, P10 was Jackie Gabbana, P11 was Queasy B, we wait for him, P12 was Harrison, P13 was Griffin, then Tyro, then Psych, then Turkey Boy. So we'll confirm those changes and we'll just go back in to make sure that didn't mess up again. Okay. And then we just wait for, I think it's Queasy B to get another invite. He requested to join. I'm going to invite him to game. Just to make sure he is 11th. Just received a friend request from someone, I'm just going to accept that. 